going to talk about our daily observation. So, whenever you are outside, plan to reduce your belly fat. You immediately smell the aroma of the food coming from your neighbors or a restaurant. Ever wonder why this just happened? Why does the hot sizzling food reaches you seven meters away? But it does not happen in case of the cold food. While food gets cooked or reheated due to the higher temperature, the aromatic gases release it into the air and mix with air molecules and start spreading. When, the, when this air reaches to our nose, we get the smell of food. Now the question, why and how this happen? And we can get the smell of hot sizzling food from a distance. When food gets cooked or heated, it, the molecules of its aromatic gases gain kinetic energy and start vibrating faster, leading to an increased rate of diffusion. As rate of diffusion increases and particles gain kinetic energy, they start to move in a greater, at a greater speed and spread at a greater distance. Now, why have to go closer to smell cold food? So it's very simple. Since the temperature of the cold food is lower than the hot food, the diffusion rate of the particles are slower than the hot food. Simple. To explain diffusion better, I'm going to show you a short experiment. I used hot in this jar I used hot water and in this jar I used cold water. You can see them in the labels. I've added red color and purple color in front of the jars to see more clear. I'm going to put red food coloring in hot and blue food coloring in cold. Let's test the experiment. So, we're going to be observing how quickly the food coloring spreads out in two different jars. As we have discussed, diffusion is the movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. So, here we go. As you can see, the red food coloring is moving through the jar of hot water much more rapidly than the green food coloring is moving through the jar of cold water. And that happens because the diffusion is based on molecular movement. Molecules will tend to speed up at a higher temperature. It means that diffusion will happen more rapidly. Now I've come back after 4 minutes and you can see that the red one and the, the red food coloring dissolved perfectly through the jar. And the cold one is still, is still dissolving due to the colder temperature. Now you know how diffusion works at different temperatures. Now, at the end of this video, we know and understand why we can smell the hot sizzling food from afar but not by cold food. The same phenomenon applies to perfumes and air fresheners. Oh, and I forgot uh, the opportunity to tell you a fact about this topic. The human nose has roughly 400 types of scent receptors which can detect and distinguish at least 1 trillion different odors. Thanks for watching. This is the end of the video. I really appreciate you if you can like, subscribe and share and hit the tiny notification bell icon. And type your feedback in the comment section below. Bye-bye.